work the stre- you are distressed notice. that the Ukrainians don't have enough American tanks. Every city in the United States has become much worse over the past three years. Yeah. Drive around. There's not one city that's gotten better in the United States. I- and it's visible. Our economy has degraded. The suicide rate has jumped. Public filth and disorder and crime have exponentially increased. And yet your concern is that the Ukrainians, a country most people can't find on a map, who've received tens of billions of U.S. tax dollars, don't have enough tanks. I think it's a fair question to ask, like, where's the concern for the United States in that? Well, it's not my concern. (laughs) Tucker, I've heard that routine from you before, but that's not my concern. I'm running for president of the United States because I think this country's in a lot of trouble. I think Joe Biden has weakened America at home and abroad. And as president of the United States, we're going to restore law and order in our cities. We're going to secure our border. We're going to get this economy moving again. And we're going to make sure that we have men and women on our courts at every level that will stand for the right to life and defend all the God-given liberties enshrined in our Constitution. Anybody that says that we can't be the leader of the free world and solve our problems at home has a pretty small view of the greatest nation on earth. We can do both. I saw this conference. I was going through it late at night and I saw more this morning. And my first question is, why did they agree to do this? (laughs) They're, they're not. It's, it was. It's amazing. Tucker Carlson dismantled them, and he just done it from the left. Yeah. And th- that's again. This the reason why he got fired from uh, Fox right. News wasn't because he was lying or because he was demonizing immigrants. It was because he told the truth about the Ukraine war and big pharma, and that was that. And so they they didn't see this coming. And he literally. And so Mike Pence, what he says is, uh, that's not my concern. It's not his concern about how to fix American cities. And then he just goes into his, uh, I've heard that from you before. Like, who does he think that's fooling? I, I guess yeah. that's how dumb Mike Pence is. And then he just goes into his stump speech about how I'm going to you know, uh, do everything great. And he just completely ignores that. He, he doesn't even know he was humiliated. That's how how yeah. to touch that guy is right there. Nah. And it doesn't take much to do that. So, but Tucker Carlson did it. To, I've only seen the one with Tim Scott and him and Pence. And it's, we a, have a few it, clips. We have a few clips for you guys today. Um, and I don't know if, if Mike Pence realized he committed career suicide here. Like <laughs> he stood no chance, but this, this sound bike that we just heard, of uh, is not my concern. He, Mike Pence was <laughs> turning number one on Twitter all day. <laughs> All day because of that. Imagine what Donald Trump is gonna do because he never he, he haven't chimed in on this, but Mike Pence is a, is a rival in the election. Imagine what Donald Trump is gonna you do with that. With it's that gonna quote. be funny. That quote is gonna is gonna haunt this man for the rest of his career. I promise you. This the second I heard this, I was watching the clip. The second he said it, I wonder like how's he gonna respond to this? Because Tucker was doing as Mike Pence says, you spill. Go ahead, Jimmy, if you want to chime in. But, but where, where would they ever get that question? They're not going to get that question on MSNBC or Fox or mm-hmm. CNN or from the New York Times or the Washington Post. No one is ever going to ask them that question about why don't you st- why don't you try to do peace in Ukraine and invest that money back here to fix our city? No one's ever going to make that connection on corporate news because if they did, they, they would be fired and they're not the kind of person they would hire in the first place. Yeah, and I have a lot of disagreements with Tucker Carlson, but it says a lot that the liberal media hates him, but he's the only one that's wanting to call the politicians on these wars. Like, And, and me and CJ, we do propaganda report on this show all the time. We go through uh, Joe Scarborough, MSNBC, Joanne Reed. They always interviewing politicians. Jen, uh, Jen Psaki, she's the new one. It's always some bootleg bullshit. <laughs> it's, it's, really, it's the propaganda speaks for itself because it's, it's the media, they always just licking the boots of the politician they're interviewing. Now compare that to Tucker to uh, on this summit uh, uh, that Blaze apparently hosted and Fox News, Jimmy. I don't know if you didn't, if you noticed this. Fox News refused to cover this uh, <laughs> event. So it not only exposed that the liberals but weird Fox, had chances to interview these people. The entire media establishment was exposed. What's popping, our brother Rome? Thank you for uh, taking time to join us today as well. What's popping, Rome? Hmm. I don't know if you hear it. I can't hear it. Fox uh, News is making themselves. I can't hear nobody. My bad. <clears throat> yeah, try to refresh. Try to refresh. Yeah, try to go out and refresh. It should work after that. So, Jimmy, what would you say? Fox News is making itself even more relevant on the right than before. I mean, Tucker. 
<laughs> so it, it's it, why you know i mean it's it really says a lot when they fire their number one you know host at the like that that just shows you that things are more there are some things more important but in the long run it really was just about money because he was going to cost them advertisers and you can't go against the establishment like that and they make money off war so shut up yeah in in it's funny, I've seen uh, quite a few MSNBC CNN segments talking about his uh, Tug Carlson being fired, and they presented as Tug Carlson finally a reckoning for his anti immigrant racist views. <laughs> I'm like, that's every single host. What are you talking about? Do you, do you guys hear Sean Handy and the other hosts as well? That's not the reason. He's not unique on those issues in Fox, it's because he's different regarding Ukraine. And, and me and CJ, we talked about this a few times. The contrast was always interesting. On Tug Carlson, you get the truth about Ukraine. You, you He'd be questioning our military and the generals. And then literally the next hour, you hear Sean Handy being a bootlicker for an hour. So fuck. So that was a weird contrast. And I wondered how they was going to handle that. And we see they they fired him. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> they just <laughs> fired him. They we can't have them fuck this up for us. So as we wait for Rome, hopefully Rome get everything fixed. But I'm going to show you guys uh, this. Um, the whole Mike Pence uh, talent hall is classy because this guy is a media plant, as me and CJ deemed, uh, because <laughs> that, it's the same with Chris Christie. Chris Christie is this guy who's running, being propped up by the liberal establishment, because Chris Christie and Mike Pence is going to repeat liberal Democrat talking points against Trump. They, right. they can say, oh, Trump is wrong on January 6th. So they've been propped up by the Joe Scarboroughs, right, and the Chris Hayes. But among the the ordinary voters and Republicans, completely out of touch. So, Rome, I'm going to bring you in here if you can hear us. But I'm going to play this clip first, and then I'll get your thoughts uh, overall. To introduce Chief, you. Man, man. Look, this is Mike Pence being booed after his bullshit. And I believe that it is in the interest of the United States of America to continue to give the Ukrainian military... Uh. God, they, to man. repel the Russian invasion and restore their sovereignty. Would you, may, may I ask? And I, you can hear booze there. Yes. And who is he appealing to? I'm going to get Roman here because Roman just joined us. Hopefully you can hear us and, and everything's good. Thanks for joining us, my brother. Now the audio is back. Oh, yeah, you're muted. Make, make sure you uh, mute, Rome. My bad, my bad. If it, it feels good to be back, man. Uh, good, uh, good to good have you back, man. On, Jimmy. How you doing? Uh, I'm doing good, man. I'm doing, uh, just a little tired, but yeah, this, uh, I don't know what the hell. I don't know what the hell he was thinking. Like, you know, this is one of these things that where you, you can really reach across enemy lines, and you know, you can see conservatives to uh, communists saying that they don't want to fund this war. We shouldn't be funding this war. So I don't know. Maybe he's talking for the people that <laughs> he works for. You know. Yeah, this is this will get. This will get him cheers uh, among the Joe Scarborough liberal crowd. But, bro, you're running in the Republican primary. And this is what Nikki Haley, Mike Pence, they know they stand no chance. Their job is just to keep the uh, the pro-war position uh, alive in the Overton window yeah. among the right-wing base. And now he's was made a fool of in that last clip. In that last clip. So I want to share this. Just, I, want to see, I, want, I want to play this again. And just and I want Ron to respond to this as well. Because, maybe well I, I people don't realize this represents – the mindset, the mindset of uh, these modern politicians that's backed by progressives as well, where they care they care more about popular and military industrial complex more than they care about uh, the state, the status of our cities. Right now, I'll play this clip again. I want to get Ron to respond as well. And, and CJ, I'm going to get you in here as well. Uh, I the Biden hear administration has been slow in providing military support. Make no mistake about this. We promised them 33 <laughs> April tank in January. I heard again too. And, and I, want, I want you guys to watch Tucker because I want, I'll pull this one up because this show you before uh, that exchange where Mike Pence, Mike Pence going to spill talking about how we got <laughs> equipping weapons. And look at Tucker's face in the beginning. He's like, do you know who you're talking to, bro? <laughs> anyway, let's take a Make no mistake about this. We promised them 33 <laughs> Abrams tanks in January. I heard again two weeks ago in Ukraine. They still don't have them. We've been telling them we'll train their F-16 pilots, but now they're saying maybe January we'll let somebody transfer some jets. I'm sorry, Mr. Vice President. Have you? I know you're running for president. You are, distra you. You are distressed notice. that the Ukrainians don't have enough American tanks Every city in the United States has become much worse 
over the past three years. Yeah. Drive around. There's not one city that's gotten better in the United States. Right. And it's visible. Our economy has degraded. The suicide rate has jumped. Public filth and disorder and crime have exponentially increased. Right. And yet, you can your see, concern you is the Ukrainians, a country most people can't find on a map who've received tens of billions of U.S. tax dollars, don't have enough tanks. Right. I think it's a fair question to ask, like, where's the concern for the United States in that? Well, it's not my concern. <laughs> Tucker, I've heard that routine from you before, but that's not my concern. His career is over. It's over. I can't I can't <laughs> believe he gave people that sound bite. So people complain because I was looking for a sound. Like, your job as a journalist when it comes to the corrupt politicians is to get that sound bite. And he got it. But Ro, I know what I'm trying to. I'm gonna get CJ in there. It's crazy how I I know he was like, you know, he really saying the loud, uh, the quiet part out loud because it really isn't none of his concern. You know, the uh, what's better for the uh, regular regular American citizens isn't none of his concern. What have he actually done so that we can say, well, we can count on Mike Pence? You know, <laughs> not a damn thing. So, <laughs> you know, it it isn't none of his concern. His concern is to make sure that the the military. Uh, stay funded. It, we always have war. America always have a, a a power and a grip around the world. Like that's his concern: white supremacy, <laughs> world domination. He don't give a fuck about you, poors. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, he's like this. And and I want and I, I can't believe the NATO left, like the Bernie Sanders, the Ro Connors. <laughs> Right? How do they see themselves aligned with people like Mike Pence and seeing Mike Pence say, yeah, our foreign policy is not, it, it, that relates to the cities being back conditioned, not being my concern. Like, you guys see how your policy not aligned here? How do they not have a second guessing themselves after seeing this kind of clip? But CJ, I won't get you in if you have anything you want to add. And I'll get it. I mean, then, there's another clip here, some more people being exposed. But go ahead, CJ. And then we get that's Jimmy because back he, That's because the progressives try to act like you could do both. Like, like after they empty our our, yeah. our banks with to, to send money over to Ukraine, then they were like, "Oh, now let's get to something else." As as if we can we can accommodate uh, both, and I think that's that's where uh, some on the progressive side can be looped into this, uh, 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 you know, march towards war, march towards nuclear war. But at the same time, be calling for climate change, which is which is absurd because that's the number one polluter is is our military industrial complex. So that's my thoughts on it. Go ahead. So, you know, people I think these I think people like Tim Scott and Pence and all the people running for the Republican nomination besides Trump forget that Trump won because he ran against the wars. He yeah. was a, a non-interventionist and he said he was gonna get the hell out of the Middle East and quit messing around. And that was very popular with the base, so popular that he crushed everybody in the in Republican primary. And these guys have amnesia and they think they could just go up, go ahead. And all of, as soon as they come up against a, a question from a, a non-corporate journalist, which it sounds funny to say that, but he is. and. Uh, they, they 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 crumble. So that's the thing that's amazing. And you know, Trump was a natural, and that's why they hated Trump in the first place because oh, he yeah. was a non-interventionist. Because he he wouldn't go along with the with this. He he did bomb Syria. He did leave troops there. And when they asked him why, he said for the oil. He, you can't say that. He's the president of the United <laughs> States. The whole world heard him say that, and everybody. And the, so now the game is over. He just said it again two weeks ago. He was talking about Venezuela. He says, "Oh man, they were just ready to go. If I was president, <laughs> we would have had all that oil. We would have had all that oil." He just says it out loud. So that's the and, and people forget that. And he ran against the Republican Party, which is a winning strategy. Just like when Bernie Sanders ran against the Democratic Party, it was a winning strategy. He failed to do that last time, which is why he's a loser.